Take the sip of tea. Mm. Oh, I forgot I was drinking Wulong. Ah. All right, so welcome back to another episode of Professor Leela. This is, uh, you know, a little bit of an experiment. I always want to make sure I want to do two of these videos and put them up because I find that when I try something new, uh, if I look at the first video, the comments and views are, are basically good, right? Everyone's just like, oh, okay, fine, Nick did that. And then if I do a sequel, if I do a second one, that's sort of when I'll find that if people don't like it, the viewership will drop way off, right, on the number two video. I'll go, oh, I won't do that again. So this is kind of an experience. You're, you're participating. So if you're watching this, you're actually, you know, you're, you're a number. You're, like, being counted here uh, as a vote for, for this Professor Leela series. So you should be, feel very, very honored uh, that you are a number <laughs> that I'll be looking at to know if I want to record any more of these. Uh, before I do, I just want to show you guys my new hat. I got a new hat, and it's probably the most hipster thing I own, I think. Do you guys want to see it? Here we go, here we go. Ugh. Can you guys read that? Heat death of the universe. Just a little reminder that not only are we mortal, everything around us is. And if you don't know what the heat death of the universe is, just Google it. It's, it's, uh... I don't know, it's a little philosophical wormhole you can go down that's uh, rooted in science. All right, anyway, enough of that aside. Uh, episode 2 here, we're going to do another 5Q game. These are two different 5Qs, though. Imagine that. And uh, I haven't looked at the game, so I'm going to be, you know, reacting along with you and trying to learn from it. You guys are basically, you know, it's, uh, it's, you, know, it's you, me, and Leela, and, you know, drinking some beverages, some choice beverages. Have a little, just the threesome of us, just having a good time. It'd be nice. It'd be really nice. So anyway, let's uh, let's go forward here. Let's see what happens in this game. Uh, sure, 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 and sure. All right, good. So we have a black, slightly more territorial corner opening versus Nirin say white. Beautiful. Does Lila have an opinion about it? Uh, Lila says 50-50. Perfect. All right, everything is going according to plan. Uh, what's inter interesting here, though, is Lila really likes this far approach. Um, where I was very much taught, and I think standard Go theory is Q15 is the place to play. Like, that's the place you play, and Lila already has it rated a percent below uh, just this far approach. Uh, I'm not going to read too much into that right now. Like, this is this is four stones on the board. But that's just an interesting thing to notice. Uh, all right, sort of a demented low Chinese form. Yeah, definitely now I really want to play Q15, and Lila, Lila's uh, agreeing this time around. Um, Black is already offering himself to become low, so you, as white, you should just oblige and say, yep, you get to be low. That's what you wanted. And very good white. All right, we got a game. We got a game. Things are happening. Uh, if I was in the situation, I mean, 0-16 is a really natural move. Um, you might think you want a pincer, and when this stone is on the fourth line and any closer than J-17, you definitely want a pincer, because you want to run this white stone into your influence. Uh, but this stone is further away and on the third line, so running it is a little less attractive. Um, Leela says just take points, and I'm assuming Leela's looking at playing, let's see if we can read this out, R15, Hane, pullback, fix at Q14, yep, and then O16. Leela wants to fix the aggressive way, so this is Joseki, where instead of playing this little um, Kosumi at the end, you actually do this nice jump because you have a stone here. Uh, I, I think that's reasonable. I think that's that's pretty good. Um, I would, yeah. Meh. What does she think of 0, 016? She says two percentage points worse than just taking the territory. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thwarted. Only one move here. Oh, uh, <laughs> that was my my son's toy falling. I'm not sure if that should that <laughs> yeah, appeared on cam on the microphone. So we're gonna do a small uh, maybe we actually know what kind of avalanche. Yet. We're gonna do some sort of avalanche variation. Uh, only one move for white, sure. And this is where black has the choice. Now, Leela thinks we should do one of the large avalanche variations. 
which is reasonable. We don't have the latter. Um, that does make a difference in a lot of these more fighting Joseki variations. Mm, I don't... For me, like, I, I know a lot of Avalanche Joseki. I'm still fuzzy on which one is the most appropriate one to choose uh, in a given situation, because, man, Avalanches are, are just a pain. Um, but in the game, Black avoids it anyway. Uh, this is not a this is not a move. R eighteen is not uh, a it's not a Joseki move. It's not it's not on Lila's radar. That's for sure. Um, if Black just wanted to settle, uh, it's probably better just to R seventeen. And you can kind of see why. Um, in that, if you R seventeen, is White going to Q eighteen? Um, no, because if White Q eighteen, Black will do something much more severe than play R eighteen. Right? Black will probably cut, possibly Hane, some circumstances you clamp. Um, so if, you know, if you were to connect here and then white were to play Q18, just responding here would, be seen so, would just be so passive given how strong your stones are. But that's exactly what uh, black gets as a result, de facto, because, oh, except white didn't take the Satari. Why doesn't white take the Satari? This is just, there's, there's not enough Aji here. Okay, white should play the Satari, <laughs> and black will connect. Uh, and, and again, it's like we exchange Q18 for R18, which is a good exchange for white. Black shouldn't respond so passively. Uh, okay. Uh, both these moves are good. Mm, I'd be, yeah, I'd, I'd be tempted to play P18 first as well, just because white missed this opportunity. Um, yeah, but already Lila is favoring black a little bit. You'll see that whew, swapped up here on our little meter. Um, even though we had this really weird, strange opening, just because White's White's not taking advantage of the opportunities, uh, this is not a, not severe enough. This this does neither. Um, here, here's your go instinct. Okay, here's your here's your first real lesson. White's shape is kind of dumb, and it might look really strong to you. Um, and in certain cases, it is where White has one more stone extended here, a Q14. This tiger's mouth is really strong. Or even sometimes when white has like an O18 or P18 stone already in place, it's also pretty strong. Uh, or white has an extension, also pretty strong. But right now, white has none of those things. And so we can push the shape around a lot more. Um, this Hane in particular, right, is probably the, the easiest way to see you pushing around because all of a sudden these two stones have two liberties and white has to be defensive of this cut. This move doesn't do any of that. It's real. That's, that's some poor go playing. Um, and already you can see uh, Leela is now, we just had a sw just a fairly big swing for the opening, you know, th over three percentage points, I think, um, back to white because black didn't push the shape around. Uh, so, ooh, you know, as a go player, you have to feel this. You have to feel like, uh, you know, you're not getting what you're entitled to. Um, you're not taking advantage of, of your opponent's mistakes. I'm going to scooch this way a little bit. Okay. Let's keep going. All right, that's that's a good move. That I like that. I, th I still think White should have taken this Atari first, um, without thinking. Right? There's just not enough Aji there. Um, but by itself, this is still a good move. Um, uh, actually, now now <laughs> now Lila really likes Black again. If Black can find this move, which Black does not. Um, yeah. So there's just this this, this little exchange makes a big difference. Um, uh, it's kind of, it's, if, in, if you can kind of imagine these stones on the board, if black plays here and then white plays here, well, all of a sudden that gives black another forcing move at N17 later. Um, so it's sort of like, not only does black get more corner territory, black gets more influence on the outside. Um, whereas if white gets this, white you know, gets this Atari, that's one fewer point for black. Uh, and now if white gets to extend at L17, that extra stone at Q18 helps seal in that territory. So it's it's big difference. And yeah, we can just look at this zigzag pattern as... Lila is growing frustrated over, uh, you know, no one taking advantage of the shape in the bottom side. Um, this is not a move. This, like, extending from a low group on the third line one space, this is something you do when you need eye space. This is not an optimistic move. This is not go. Um, yeah, and now we're back to, like, uh, <laughs> if white plays this move, a 56 percentage <laughs> win for white, which white does not do, of course. <laughs> Um, but still, I think I think because this move is bad, white looks good again. Like white is still fine with this. 
Um, I like the spearless move. You know, white's thick over here, so we're saying, hey, let's expand from thickness. Um, sure. Uh, in this case, Leela likes just coming out here. We already have a pincer stone. Um, so let's make use of it just by building directly. Nope. Okay. Um, but this is not unreasonable. Um, black sees that white has thickness. And so the idea is, hey, let's not get our pincer stone in trouble. Let's keep it strong and nullify that thickness. That's okay, except white will get an advantage over here. You know, this is the trade of go. Uh, when you play back and forth and, and converse with your opponent through your moves, you will find... Uh, you know, there's always trade-offs, and so black doesn't want to be weak here, then sure, white will get an advantage over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, still this is the move, right? This is still a good move. This move, however, this actually, the, the space in this move is funny because, again, if black made this P18-018 exchange earlier, um, this stone would actually want to be at N17. So, this point, even though it's like a good st strategic point on the upper side, in terms of tactics, it's actually on the wrong, wrong space of the board. Um, yeah, and Leela doesn't like that move either, for all those reasons. Um, again, White should just make this exchange and then come back over here. Um, so, actually, Leela says, play Q18, fill, and then Leela wants to press here and then come back. Yeah, so Leela wants to make two extra exchanges for White and before coming back here, which is good. Ah, everybody's ignoring everything. Great! And it's not even San Ranse, it's the demented San Ranse of the low one. It's, just, it's like the really pessimistic San Ranse. Um, yeah, just not not really a good move <laughs> in this case. Um, this, is, this is where you can press your advantage uh, the easiest and the most. Um, Lila says to expand all the way here. If I'm black, I'm still probably playing this move. Um... Yeah, I think I think if you, if black for black to play this move, oh, this is actually interesting. Okay, this this is like a subtle go thing. Like normally, um, if black were to play this move, I would just expect white to press here and either split or keep black very low, and this whole side become very uninteresting. But in this case, I think what Lilo is thinking is that that's okay <clears throat> because of this stone, and that's a weird thought, right? This is this is like a little more advanced. Um, down the line kind of thinking. But because this white played the stone low, um, this stone actually doesn't help the corner invasion. Uh, when If black were to approach here and white were to pincer, for instance, and black were to invade um, the corner directly, um, white would like to build a wall here, but then black has this black group right up against this low stone, and the connection between this low stone and this wall is meaningless. It doesn't do much. Um, it's much more effective to have this on the fourth line, so white can just build a glorious wall and then really strongly counterattack, rather than have like a hole in the wall that gets split. Um, so that's I, I think that's my human analysis of like at least what the numbers are telling me. Uh, that's interesting. Not again. We're just volunteering. Like, why does black want to be so low? Why 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 are both players like so completely devoid of optimism? Like. Like, I feel like these people need therapy. Like, they're just so depressed at their game. <laughs> has Black... Black has yet to play a stone that's actually truly on the fourth line. If we count this in the third line this way, every stone for Black is on the third line or lower. That is so pessimistic. Uh, White tried to be optimistic. White just didn't believe in himself enough, right? <laughs> and switched back to third line. All right. Hane, sure. And actually, this, ca this case, White could um, play Avalanche here. Does Leela like Avalanche? Leela doesn't like Avalanche, right? How much does Leela not like Avalanche? Leela, it's a big difference. Leela really doesn't like Avalanche here. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess with a, if White had another stone here, Avalanche would look pretty good. Or at least starting the, the simple um, Avalanche variations. But yeah, just <laughs> Black's only asking for third line, and then you have the opportunity to, like, break it up. <laughs> okay. Um, now what's interesting here is <laughs> Lila wants Black to push cut, like, really badly, right? Like, doing something else is, like, five percentage points weaker, um, which is pretty interesting. 
Uh, and this isn't this isn't pure sente though. Like white can push cut and get a whole bunch of corner aji, but it doesn't actually work. So let's do a little bit of the readout S14 Q13. Uh, white just wants to get forcing moves here first. I see. So the idea here um, is very similar to just playing Q13 directly. I'm not actually sure why, in this case, Lilo will want to push first. Um, does it have Q13 on her radar? Come on, Professor Lila. Where's your Q13? It's not there. Um, weird. Oh, there it is. There it is. It just she just spent like no time on the move. Um, although she, yeah, she, like huge win percentage difference, even though she spent no time. Hmm, interesting. But then there's this push cut here. I'm, I'm just confused. All right. Um, so actually, here's a thing. I just learned this, like right now. You can click here and it'll show you the sequence. This changes everything. God, I'm doing this all wrong. What the hell was I doing that first video? No one told me this. I feel like I need to wear my hat. <laughs> ah, all right, now I'm dumb. I, I'm, I'm just, I know, I know the first video. Um, I haven't, I haven't edited it yet. <laughs> at the time when I'm recording this. So it's obviously not online. So everyone's going to be commenting on that video. Like, oh, you can just click the variation. Oh, man. All right, well, we're learning Leela together. You know, this is this is very important. You know, when you're with, with a new partner, you know, you have to take some time to learn each other's bodies, you know, all that, all that stuff. Okay. In the game, in the actual game, white plays here. And this, this is not what you want to do usually in this situation. Um, this is a reduction. Like this is almost—you have to think of this like you're playing a shoulder hit. Um, that's what these two stones are. So, um, although Lila likes it, huh? I don't know. Normally, you won't—you either want a tanuki and just leave it alone for later, um, or play a fast move to get out. Um, yeah. Actually, do we have a, a G16 variation? Oh, yeah. It's complicated. Yeah. White one. Black just makes shape. White just sort of. Lounges out. <laughs> Black keeps up strength. Peep, connect. Mm. I throw in down there. Interesting. That's a really interesting combination. Not. Hmm? I. Yeah. Okay. I'll. Let's go forward. <laughs> Our players are definitely not playing that. Um. There is no way. Hey, go forward. Control Y. There we go. Here and then. Oh, Black plays the greedy variation. This is, this is the one we looked at briefly earlier, I tried to explain earlier when, when Black attached in this corner, because um, Black already had a stone at J17. Uh, so Black could have played Greer at the 016 point, and that's what it is here. The problem is that there's this attachment at C15, and so if White has a stone around C12, um, White can just either cut through here or live in the corner, or kill something, or, you know, there's just a lot of options. Yeah, this move, J J15, here's a shape point that I often I, I, I just think it's not as good as it is. Uh, and, you know, Lila says it's great. Yeah. This, this is not a great optimistic shape for white. This is only getting out. It's really not putting very much pressure on black here. Um, but we're back to P18, oh man. Black should play here. Just make that exchange. Um, Lilo thinks it's a big exchange at this point. I think it's a much smaller s exchange than before, because um, now we know Black's going to be jumping out or doing something in here anyway. Um, but Lilo thinks it's good. Yep, so there's a jump out. Uh, now we have the white group behind. This is still a good exchange. Um, Q13, yeah, again, Lilo wanted to play R14 earlier, and I don't... And, all, and now it's, like, switched, right? Look, Q13 is the one that has 59%, and R14 is 51%. So... Here, you know, here's my conclusion, right? It's like, the robot is really strong, and it's not, it's not, you know, it's not like AlphaGo Zero strong, at least this version. Um, but it's really strong, but man, is, can it mislead you? And that's, 
that's the problem with Leela, right? If you're if you're if you're a Q player, even a high Don player, and you're trusting Leela for everything, um, oh man, like I think I think Leela makes a lot of mistakes that it gets away with, right? Because it's so adaptable. I th because it reevaluates the board um, so often, it is so flexible, and it's actually way more flexible than the human mind in that sense. Because we tend to get emotional and, and tie our and Leela doesn't do that. And so when Leela does have a, a, a slight minus or a mistake, or like, again, trying to decide between pushing R14 and Q13, um, even though they're very similar, uh, you know, it's it's like, it, it misleads you, right? Like, like before it said, oh, you need the R14 to play Q13. And now it's like, nah, you just play the Q13. Ah, I think that's really dangerous for Go, at least for people learning. And <laughs> I guess I'm one of them, yeah. Or one, I'm in danger. I'm in danger along with you guys. The same problem. Uh, interesting move. It's it'd be better with the Q18 exchange already made. Um, again, feels small though. Feels like the correct direction is just to get out. So, and we really don't want to touch. We don't really want to make this group super strong yet because we might attack it from the left side. So I'm not in love with this. Is this on Leela's radar? N17, it is. Yeah, Leela says it's good. Yeah, same kind of thing. Push here, make this exchange, make this exchange, make this exchange. Let's kind of get out. So, it's alright. But if Black's is going to let us out, we don't really need to make, make this exchange, and then we can do more severe things later. Um, it's much better to make these exchanges first, right? Because these, these exchanges are... Like, we're using less Aji than this one. Like, when we play this attachment, this is using a lot of Aji. We have three loosely connected stones. That means there's a lot of possibilities here. Over here, there's a lot fewer. So, playing this side first and just making sure your opponent responds, I think, is the the correct order in terms of, you know, grand strategy. Uh, white plays here. Okay. That's that's the idea, right? Make a change, get shape, get out. Um, again, Q13 is kind of important, but... Uh, interesting. What did Lila want to do? Lila wanted to play this N15. Oh, are we going to peep here? Is that the idea? No, we're just going to turn. Hmm. Okay. I see. Making this exchange first does prevent a little bit of this um, wedge here later on. I mean, that's what it's about. Oh, and then it wants to go into this corner variation. Oh my god. Too much, too many things happening. All right, so we played there, so we played here. We're going to play, what? Wait, what? Oh yeah, because black played this weird jump instead of continuing on this side. Mm. This feels too safe. Like making a symmetrical position like this is not interesting. Of course, white, uh, well, yeah, white's gonna play here. Leela now wants white to play this exchange again and just over-concentrate black, make the same shape on both sides. How often do you see something like that? Yeah, H17. Oh, actually wants to give up the stone. And then Tanuki. Alright. Um, but anyway, before all that stuff happens, just playing here, black's already committed five stones, right, to making these, you know, eight points. So, make him commit a sixth. <laughs> Same number of points for black, doesn't change the number of points black's looking to get. Tanukis, and this move is trying to do a lot of things, and I think it's trying to do too many things. Um, I think it's trying to be a friend for this little southern cross group. It's trying to build a moyo. Um, and I, th I think, I assume, it's, it's starting to look at like the C15 attachment. Still feels a little too far away. Have a direct effect. Does Leela have an idea for this move? Has Leela thought about this D10? Uh, Leela kind of likes it, but not not like really. Like Leela says, that's a 50-50 game. So not very good, but not losing move. All right. So black, yeah. Um, again, this, this stone is just very awkwardly connected to the little southern cross here. Um, so it feels like, this feels really good for black to be able to play this, because this helps fix that C15 defect and keeps these things separated. Um, yeah, we can see, we can see the... Leela's feelings are trending more towards black now. Um, hey, alright, 
Good job, black player. Uh, now might be the time just to get shape. Um, yeah, that's good. Lila still wants to do this and this crap. It can't... We're back to R14 over Q13, by the way. How far down is Q13 on the list? Just playing that directly. Like, they're so similar. Q13's all the way down here. And a win percentage of negative 1.31%. So it didn't even think about the move. For, I don't even know how you end up with this. It did exactly one simulation and ended up with a negative win percentage. All right, we broke the robot. <laughs> Poor Leela. You need a break. Um... All right. Yeah, this 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 move is a very human move. I like this move just in terms of its spirit. <laughs> what is this H fourteen? Uh, Lila says it's not a good move. Um, but in terms of what you want to do, right? You're saying black's already strong. Let me just lean on it so I can get stronger. Leaning on a strong group. That's what I mean by very human. Um, yeah, I don't I don't think the idea is bad. Um, I'm much more optimistic for it than Lila thinks. All right. Uh, yeah, Lila is just like, get the corner! That's a very robot mentality. If we get the corner, we can win! Um, this corner is, uh, is difficult for white to determine which side to block. Um, I think white blocks d3. Oh, no, it's not that difficult. Yeah, white just blocks d3. <laughs> um, uh, oh, well, Lila's changed his mind, though. Lila now th starting... Oh, it's kind of split. Lila's not sure corner or approach. The nice thing about approaching is it makes D10 feel real stranded. Um, however, our stone's a little bit more endangered. So this is a little riskier. This is a little more like uh, fighting spirit, optimistic, you know, throw it down kind of move. This is more just a, let's just settle this and move on with the game. Uh, either way, I don't think Black's playing either one of those. Oh my god, Black did. Well then, neat. Yeah, normally when you have a pincer stone, you want to kick this, make it heavy, and then fight. Um, this is this is one of those cases though where it might not be super appropriate, just because your stone's a little stranded and you have a weak group here. So I'm really not interested in making black that much stronger. Uh, Lila says do it <laughs> without thinking. Um, but that'd be what I would, as a human, right? What I'd be thinking about would be like, you know, look, I have a weakish group over here, and I've got a stranded stone over here. I want to make this weak so I can attack it and get my group strong, but I have already have two weak groups, so... You know, maybe we can all just get along and I'll just play F4. Hmm. Like F4? Really doesn't like F4. Hasn't spent much time on it, though. Um, this is what Leela thinks will happen. Look, this is... this. I'm fine with this result for white. If this is what Leela thinks will happen, all of a sudden... You know, black, black profited, right? Black got points. It's not like black has a insurmountable number of points. This is more that white has no points. Um, but man, having a wall here, having the stone connected, and then only having one weak-ish group, and it's not even that weak anymore because we still have this H14 stone that black didn't respond to. Um, like, I, like, even though black has basically all the points at this point and white has nothing, I would feel I would feel it was fine as white. Like, I have no problems. My two weak-ish groups, you know, can are strong enough to fend for themselves. I don't know. Makes sense to me. Ah, Susobaro, the foot sweep. Um, I don't think this is the time to play this. <laughs> the problem, so a couple problems with Susobaro. That's the name of this this foot sweep move from the corner four four. Uh, is it kind of it kind of loses tempo? Um, let's see. What was what was our win percentage before for Black? Black was peaking at about forty nine percent. It looks like. Oh, that's white move. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's white. So white, white percent is so it's like 51, 52% for black. Uh, after this move, does Leela, what does Leela calculate? Oh, like the same. 51, 52. A little above 52, in fact. Um, okay, Leela says it's fine. I mean, it is similar to the kick, except black doesn't necessarily need to get involved in like a heavy fight right now. Um, the stone, this is like a, like you shoulder hit a second line stone. So it's very light, very flexible, plenty of time to do whatever we want. Uh, except that. We don't... We, 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 why, Black? Uh, no, you have a super flexible stone. Why are you choosing to make it heavy? Yeah, yeah. I, I, okay, we're committed. Yeah. 
Yep. Okay, keep, I, I, you know, Leela wanted you to just take the stone, right? Yeah, Leela's like, take the stone. But, oh, look at that, Leela's changing to the human move! Yes, 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 good job, robot, you figured it out. See, I was gonna, I was gonna yell at Leela. I was like, you know, I don't know what she's thinking, because, because again, I like this wall variation, this is better than the wall variation from before. Mm-hmm, yeah, come out. Ooh, now this is interesting. This is a move, this is a shape that wouldn't have occurred to me. Um, to let this elephant eye exist. Ooh, that's dirty. In the name of building this giant pyramid-like wall down here. Um, actually, what's in, actually the, the, the current highest rated move, it's only done sim seven simulations, spent basically no time on it, is actually just to um, <laughs> stand with an iron pillar right here, which I'm pretty sure is wrong, but is amusing. Uh, yeah, this, this move, ooh, this is, this should make you feel kind of tingly, like, this is, this is, um, you know, it, it's kind of, I'm trying to think of, like, those fighting movies, like, kung fu movies, where you have, like, the big guy with, like, the big axe who's just, like, standing there right before, like, the final boss, and why he's just, like, transforming himself into that guy, he, like, doesn't care about all the little people that fell before him, he just comes out with a giant axe and tries to take down, you know, the hero. Um, so that's what White is transforming himself into <laughs> with a move like this, just giving up every little thing. Uh, I kind of like it, though. It's consistent. Uh, similar, similar, except the nice thing about this move, when you, when Black, or sorry, when White plays out here, um, is it makes Black's capture this White Stone really difficult. Um, like, Black can do it, but White's going to get a whole bunch more free stuff. I think when we attach, black gets a lot more choices. Um, I think both players probably get more choices, in fact. Like, this is, this is like, like, again, like, this is a big, big guy with a giant axe, right? There's no, there's no really debate. Like, he's not going to be running around, he's not going to be changing directions, and he's just carrying an axe, you know, he's just going to try to chop you off at the head. Um, this, this is, you know, someone who's trying to stab you. <laughs> and so there's going to be a lot more dodging and fighting. Anyway, that's my own little cinephile interpretation of what's going on here. Ooh, Black's not willing to fight. And I can see why Black isn't willing to fight, because Black is scared for these three stones. But again, Black has a stone at B4, or doesn't have a stone, but can play a stone at B4 to basically make life whenever. I don't want to wear a hat anymore. What am I doing? Um, so, uh, you know, this is, the kind, this is like, if White already has connected here, yeah, maybe you play this type of move and grovel for life. Um, but until you do, you don't have to do that. So you can ask questions and play the more severe move. And that's only robots are really good at, and it takes humans a really long time to learn, right? We're attached to our stones. We think things have to happen. Um, the robots are much more ready to make exchanges whenever necessary. Um, yep, so we're just going to grovel. Uh, this double honey is what Lilo wants to play. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, double Hane, Atari, yep, we get to play the move we want. Fix, perfect our wall, black keeps us separated, we come out. There's this little splitting fight here. Mm, I'm not entirely unhappy as white. I'm actually pretty... Yeah, assuming this, this, is, okay, assuming this is okay, which I think it is. Um, mm, I'll let me do a little bit of reading here, because there's this push and Hane which is painful, but not, no, because we're threatening, we can make two eyes in here, we can make two, we can, we can make us, and if black really insists we can't, we can make a second eye down here, and we still have this. So yeah, so I think I like that for white. Leela agrees, 61%. Cool, cool. Um, when white connects, it's very similar. Um, we just don't get quite uh, as much Aji. Oh, black's gonna fix that way. Oh, that might be better actually. At least in the Lila variation. Um, Lila doesn't even want to play another stone up here, right? To just perfect this thickness. White's just like, hey, just take, take more. <laughs> black played a slow move here. What? Ah, uh, this is. Oh, these people need therapy. What? Ah, so pessimistic. This is just so pessimistic. 
you have to have bigger dreams. You have to believe in yourself. Uh, this is, like, you make a two-space base when you're in behind your opponents. Like, imagine, take all these white stones and turn them all black, right? You turn these, uh, eight, four, nine stones black. This is a great move for white, right? Like, if this is white and white to play, white plays another stone here and lives in this giant black thing. That doesn't mean it's a good move when all of your stones are white, right? Surrounding. We have to be a little more optimistic. Ooh. Is that a thing? What I mean, this isn't this isn't really a thing though, right? This is this is a non thing. Um for black that is, right? Okay. Uh that also works. Um and actually this is very defensive, but I think it's still fine. This is a little more optimistic. Lila thinks it's a pretty big difference um for endgame. Um, I can see if you're scared, how this one makes you feel really good. <laughs> um, but we already played the scared move, so playing another scary mo scared move isn't doesn't feel great. Uh, but still good. I still like white. Um, white, yeah, white. White has every reason to be optimistic, and black has to work really hard to get an attack on something uh, to get going. Yeah, this is the move to reduce, right? I, might, I would even be a little bit scared of playing here. Like, I think if I were to play L4, I would have to think long and hard about my opponent, um, you know, either coming on top. Actually, I'd probably... Uh, I'll kind of maybe even like white O4. Maybe N4. Probably O4. Um, is also a pretty good response. And of course, black gets to slice through here, but um, there's a giant wall here. Like, black's going to be working for a long time. Uh, we do have... Okay, we're coming back to black a little bit, though. If... Uh, okay. Okay. This is this is why I said black needs to work hard to get something going. Um, this is not a bad place to start. Uh, I think it's okay. Uh, I, um, Lila says, just get the group out. Yep, alright. Hey, you played the robot move. Keep it going. We're gonna keep coming in. Yeah, we are. Just keep making shape. Uh, are we going to fix... Oh, Lila's changing his mind. Lila wants to go back and attack this one now. Maybe do some sort of attack where we can run these two things together. Here, let's go back and look at this variation, because we... Oh, no, 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 no! Don't do that. What? I broke everything. This one. Lila, for... Lila, push here, and then just push in. These This white wall isn't very useful um, if it gets black into here. Because these black stones are already here, but uh, that's that's not very exciting. Oh, I went back to the beginning here. Let's find our place. Oh, hold on. Okay, so black just connected. Uh, white wants, or Lila wants white to just finish making eye space. Lila does not. I think this turns fine. I think this is very natural. It even gives another. You know, this feels like right direction. This is although this is sente. Yeah, okay, I see why. Yeah, he looks like, black, here, now! No, very soft. Very soft. Hey, we're back to the Q13, R14 bit. Lila was, I'm not sure if you just watched the colors, Lila got confused for a second, but now has come back around to Q13 being the answer. Um, gives it a 3 percentage lead over R14. Which is pretty significant for a very similar exchange. Uh, push... All right, white's just being real safe about it. Uh, are we gonna fix? Yeah, we're gonna fix. Uh, now, Leela will show us how it thinks this move is the winner, huh? M16, it's not the winner. No, wait, 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 hold on, no, no, no. Leela thinks the real, this is the variation I want to go to. Um, what, what did I do? How did I get off track? Uh, uh, Da, da. Right here. Black should H15 is what she says. Okay, so if we do... Wow, both players ignore this. Um, this is, this is uh, you know, white plays here, black plays here, white takes, black Ataris for this weird co-like shape situation. So, like, black is all safe-ish. 
not that big a deal. Uh, black can be flexible enough to deal with it. Um, I really wanted Leela to show you that variation, but instead Leela thinks this is what's going to happen. All right, so here, let's go back to the game. So white plays here, black connects. That's too safe, over concentrated. This is still a good exchange. Ah, oh my God. It happened. <laughs> it happened, it finally happened. Oh my God, we're still on the R14 Q13. Watch, watch these colors, they're gonna flip. Huh, huh? Huh? Oh man, I called it. It'd be cool if they flip back. That'd be pretty cool. But it's not going to. Because Q13 is better than R14. That's Everybody knows that. <laughs> Except Leela. She only knows it after she has to think about it for the same 10 seconds every time. Uh, okay. Uh, a little defensive. A little too defensive here to make this shape. I think... Again, we still have this exchange. It's not like we're sealed in yet. I'm probably, probably a little too defensive. And in fact, Leela thinks very poor this move, like a 20 percentage point loss, going from winning by 13% to losing by 6% with this move. That's how slow it is. Huge swing. That that could turn into the game losing move. All right, if we're just watching our graph here. Looks, you know, because every time it looks like white presses the advantage, you know, black's able to just uh, keep it back in line close enough to make it a game. This this move might be too slow. I wouldn't be surprised if white never gains control again here. Um, if black can play just a couple of good reduction moves, uh, black is super solid here. This is all solid territory now. White didn't get greedy with like the d7 exchange, or didn't ask, I shouldn't say get greedy, but didn't ask for very much. Um, yeah, black black has no problems. So system matter of points. Uh, okay. Um, I I applaud Black because Black just loved playing all these third line stones and has finally played a fourth line stone. It's about time. That's great. What does Leela think of this? Uh, let's see. This was Q6. I uh, think you should still better. You still much better to do this. And if you can't do this, it still likes R6 better. You know, it's third line. Um, we can act, we actually can get in without too much difficulty because we have this and this. Um, so even if we come R6 and white comes on top and tries to build this directly, we still have some anchors. So, you know, I applaud black for finally feeling like he should come out of his shell a little bit, but it's just not, not either the, the best points. Okay, good. White just takes points. They're going to play out of Joseki, Sure. And man, it looks like a 50-50 game here. Ooh! Ooh, this move is premature. Okay, let's go back to here. Yeah, white, this is very big for corner points, and it also threatens to pincer this and attack this group. If white doesn't make that exchange, all of a sudden these three black stones can't really be attacked. Because um, black's going to take the corner. Yep, S3. Let's see, does he do it? Oh, slaughtered. White, white is getting single track, single tracked. For, even connects. Black can actually jump up here now. Just press this down, and he does. Oh my god. That was just a finishing sequence here. Just in this little tiny exchange, right? The game got really simple. No one is playing any deep moves. It's just a game of territory. And black played a Joseki that should have been a minus for black. Um, but white got no initiative off of it. Right, what white got was to play this move. Is, you, can, you can sort of think of it as like white, white got to exchange this for this. But that's better for black. Look at all these points now that all of a sudden can turn black. Oh, bummer. White's just like, hey, I need my territory. Yeah, but black can just keep asking for more. Okay, this is okay. Come on top. Good. <clears throat> White is the one who now has to reduce black. Oh, oh, pain. Pain. I need to drink tea. I need to put on my hat. I need to do all the things here. Heat death of the universe is coming. Oh, help us all. Mmm. Oh, 
Oh, White, you should feel bad. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Uh, let's move. Let's move. Here's the, so the problem with this move. Even if black just defends, this stone is actually not safe. He also basically is guaranteed all these points for black that black wasn't entitled to. Um, black, black could still ignore right now and still just press you further before responding to this. Like, there's so many bad things about it. Uh, ooh, black, black doesn't need to do any of that though, right? Like, like, uh, I think, I think you definitely take this Atari. All right, this, this is like the Atari that seals the deal. Um, because you think, well, if black takes the Atari and then white invades and black gets a stone, yeah, perfect. Let white invade this. You just trashed all this. You have a Panuki in the middle of this white area. White still needs another move to come back immediately and live. Oh, no, I guess he doesn't because he has S2, but uh, just for any, to get any sort of number of points needs another move. Uh, uh, that, that's, that's, all right. Actually, black's making this fun again, right? So here we go. Black's giving white a chance. Black's like, I'm going to kill everything now. Sure. Great. Here we go. All right. White, you got a plan? Uh, Leela says, no, there's no plan. Just come back here. <laughs> Leela says, no hope for you. Uh, but no, we're going we're gonna to have a plan. Sure. Uh, I think if, you're, if you are white... You you want to, you, like at this point in the game, if you know you've lost, you have to come back and find R10. Right, like this, this Lila only ranks it as the third best move um, in its current analysis window. Uh, but you have to play a move like this. Something something that causes more disruption and throws the game into more turmoil. Because um, maybe if you get R10, maybe you can come back. And, uh, you have something of a base, and if Black tries to undercut your base, then you play S2, and then all of a sudden the Black group doesn't have a base to live, to work from. I don't know. Uh, yeah, black can still play here. Black can still play here. Both of these are still just good enough. Mm. Okay, but we're going all out, black. Black is just like, I'm going to kill something. Here I come. Uh, except there's a strong white group over here. How, how are you going to kill this? I want to know. Yeah, white just gets out. White should attach here. White should use all this Aji first, right? To say, hey, I'm just going to live here. And then once black decides, no, you're not going to live here, then you come out. Um, this gives an opportunity just for black just to make more points. All right. Sure. Yep. Let's take the points now. So I want you to notice things, though. All of these exchanges ended up being useless, right? These black stones are doing essentially nothing, right? All three of these moves. Um, and in fact, they're doing worse than nothing because white got to play here. And that means there might be white points in this area. So, sure. We could have just played here directly and then attacked this way, force white to connect to this group, and then guaranteed no white points in this whole center area. Uh, it's very slow. Very slow. Yeah, I know. We had, Lila really wants to take this Atari, and I do too. Ah, white got it. Except white can double Hane here, and that's why that Atari is so big. Um, so this is very passive. Black's is going to push, block. This is looking like a more a more boring endgame all of a sudden. Ooh, is this Black's going to go all out, try a kill again? Uh, does it work? Wow. Did this work? Oh, what did I just miss? Um, black here. White. Black. And this peep. Hmm. So what happens if white just responds? Oh yeah, white should respond either here or I think this is also fine too. Um, so the thing, the thing is with this stone, is it's not safe, <laughs> right? It looks like it's safe because it looks like you can poke at H10, but actually white can still cut you at at G10. So if we play this move, here's a sequence. White here, here, three. What happens? Is white still... Wait, white dies? What? But Leela just predicts that white dies again. I'm confused. How does this white stick live? This doesn't.
what is this? Here, all right, let's store this position. Let's try some things. So it says Leela here. Oh, and we can just live that way. So I don't, I don't know what we're doing. Stupid robot. All right, well, anyway. Yeah, if white connects, this is very heavy of a connection. Like, this is a connection you make when you when you think you're going to die here, which is still possible, but we still have H17. It seems hard. It seems hard to die. Yeah, <laughs> back to R14. Okay. Um, yeah, seems like... Leela, Leela, what, tell us what you're doing. How are you going to save the white group? Leela's convinced this is this is Sente, right? Oh, that way. Here, if we do it Leela's way, what happens? That looks like we still die, but white gets to break through in that case. Hmm. All right. Um, so we're going to try this way. That's not much better. Oh, wait, wait, we have right here. No, that doesn't work. Sorry. Yeah, we need we need to do something over here to make this Robotaries happen. Oh, uh, that doesn't work yet. Can't do this yet. This doesn't do anything yet. Okay. We're trying real hard. Trying real hard. Oh, we're trying super hard. Um, yeah, we're just, uh, it's, it's bad. We are down to 5%. There's nothing, there's nothing we did here to save this group. So, it turns out, is this even countable? Like, this isn't, yeah, so right now it says black by 40. Not countable. Basically, if you look at this and then compare it to the white group, I'm not even convinced that the white group is big in terms of territory is bigger than this black behemoth over here. And then uh, black has this 40 points plus some over here. So yeah, what happens? They play a little more. Now I did look at the final result of this game, and black does not win by 40. <laughs> So, I just want to know how, how does white make up some of these points? White's getting a good end game there, there. It's chipping away. Somehow this became closer. But again, black had like a 30 point. 40 point lead. So I'm impressed that it got this close. All right, and that's pretty much the game. That's what happens. All this is dead. Black gets one huge territory, one very large territory. White gets one huge territory and one small territory. And that's it. Look at that. That's just a sad, sad moment. So it does look like if we go back, I think this was the moment. Was it the moment? Yeah, this move. Look look at how look at this chart and how just white was just taking control of this game and plays one move. Just one move. That's too slow. Not needed. And then look what happens. Like, oh man. The severity of Go, especially in Q games. So anyway, uh, I'll put my hat back on. Just because I have it. Oh yeah. Uh, and I'm really happy that it's purple because uh, I had a purple hat <laughs> when I was a kid and my parents would make me go mow the lawn and I'd wear my, my purple rimmed hat and uh, yeah, this is, this is this just having a purple hat is just kind of very nostalgic for me so even though it's a little bit morbid the text is referring to <laughs> a reminder of our of, a, of our finite existence um yeah, it's my hat. That's all I have to say. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, Leela game. Um, actually, I really, actually, I really like this one um, better than my first video. 
Uh, so I'll probably do a third one of these regardless of how many people watch the second one, even though the, sequ the sequel numbers, right, tend to fall off and uh, be far less well-received than the first experimental one. Um, I had a lot of fun, so yeah, I doesn't, I, I guess at the end I don't really care about what you guys think or do, I just, uh, you know, I'm going to make videos that are amusing and fun and educational for my benefit, so hopefully if you join me and you learn something too, then fantastic, and if not, uh, you know, go watch Dryhorn.